The Biting Sow in Oklahoma City's Bricktown is all about the blues and always a good place to hear the blues. But tonight at the Biting Sow, the blues is alive because Miss Blues is in the house. Dorothy Ellis is Miss Blues and she comes by the name naturally. You see, she sang her first blues song in a Texas juke joint in 1943. She was seven years old. It was kind of an experience. I got real excited when I made money at it. <laughs> because it, they, they uh, put all their nickels and dimes together and it totaled out to $2.50. So I was hooked. <laughs> Well, really and truly, though, I had a passion for the blues. And after all these years, she still has a passion for the blues, especially the cheating kind of blues. I love to talk about no good men, folks. <laughs> that is my favorite thing to do. When I'm on stage, I love to talk about no good men, folks. Well, I'm hoping that's not from experience. <laughs> Basically, yes. <laughs> a lot of people who never really had the blues sing the blues, and a lot of them have made a pretty good living at it. And they can sound pretty convincing. But if you want to sing the blues with passion, well, you pretty much have to have lived them. Dorothy Ellis has. My mama died when I was nine. I said that I was a, a love one minute and became a product that, uh, that nobody wanted the next minute because my mama had a heat stroke, went boom, bam, bam, she was gone. And my grandmother was one mean lady. She did not want no children. <laughs> she shouldn't have never said she'd even take me. So I stayed with her six months and I ran away. And how I ended up in Oklahoma City, really, is this was all the money that I had to come this far. She wound up in a home for homeless girls. Blue enough for you? So catch Miss Blues when you can, because you will hear the real blues, the low down, got nothing but hard luck blues uh, from a woman who's been there. 